So you vote for Apothecary. So let's go there. So Apothecary, minus two strength, minus one dex, plus one intelligence, minus 15 hit points. Super weak class, but they get speed, which is strong. And they get poison resistance, which combos with their Miasma spell. So they're supposed to like kite and use Miasma. It's kind of their deal. Um, they're basically uh, directly inspired by the Spriggan Venom Age from DCSS. Thundering right outside your house, so you have a dog on your feet. <laughs> it's like we were talking about the other day. I guess you're you're stuck. <laughs> you may not be moving for a while. The dog on your feet is like an iron, like a lead weight. What's up, Disperse? No, it's not that fast at all, Marlin. You know what r destroys apothecaries is snakes. Because they're they're actually faster than the apothecary. And even with poison resistance, poison still kills you and you only have 30 hit points. Ooh, a hammer. This is a cool entrance. I don't think we're supposed to use uh, the hammer right here. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, I think we have to Miasma the Rat. Imagine the start on a start says Vamp Disguise. The time would be different. Vampires start at night and humans start at the day. So yeah, you wouldn't just die there. <laughs> yeah, so we could hardly like fight a goblin there. Poison, ironically, is still our biggest issue, even with poison resistance, because 30 health, poison will do a big chunk of that. I don't know what it does on average, but it can like wreck us pretty hard. We do have an antidote, that helps. I don't think you saw it last week in Luco. Did you see when I played it in Apothecary? I think I rolled random and I started in the beehive entrance and I almost died right there fighting the bees. I thought it would be safe because I had poison resistance and I could just like get all their poison in one go and then just like not die. But I had to use my antidote and I still barely survived. <laughs> You proportionally get health faster than when leveling, yeah. I don't know how much you heal per turn, but I think it's a percentage. And likewise, um, for vampires, you take damage proportionally to your health. This is a good start. Plus one intelligence. Who's faster here? Looks like I am. That's good. Let's see if we can abuse the sunlight if there's any vampires down here. So my asthma's an AoE, so I'm able to like hit the corner and and pop some dudes. Um, I'm gonna get some decks to give us like a little bit of survivability early, hopefully. That wolf made me miss our our brute master attempt. Still sad for that loss. Oh, 
Only 6 HP from that level up. Hmm, I thought it gave you 10 hit points per level. Does it just give you 20%? Which would be round to 10 from 45 starting hit points. Maybe that's how it works. I'm just gonna have to kite everything on this class to Jer's disgust. These things. These will wreck you on Apothecary. You can't kite them because they're faster than you. Bees? Also quite dangerous. Give me more decks. Uh-oh. Okay, I didn't get poisoned. You're probably resistant to poison. Immune. Just like ignore you. I want to get to the right side of the map where we can hopefully take advantage of sunlight. We'll try a different stair. Oh, that's not that different. Hmm. Plus one strength. Yeah, the golems are definitely um, being troublesome. You know what else is troublesome? Food right now. Wait, you're not allowed to heal. Stop it. So we're about to turn into a vampire. Which is good for food, but I don't think we make a very good vampire. Um, so this gets cheaper once we identify it. So maybe I don't buy it, although it'd be nice to have either a Solix or a Blood. Yeah, I think we slow down slightly as a um, as a vampire. Oh, we get the sewers again. Turn out the light so that golem can't see me. And grab that gold. Vulnerable to poison. I like this thing could wreck us. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Let's do another point of dex. I'd really like to lean into spells here, but we need to get more more spells and we haven't seen a grimoire yet 
So let's use deck so we can maybe chill as a vampire a little bit to maybe find some books and also find some food. And then we'll, we'll try to lean into our spells a little more. Oops. Do I die here? To burning? Sixteen health, it does like it looks like it's doing three damage to us. I don't know how often it procs. Is it fifty percent when you have no resistance? Is it thirty percent? We have nine turns. I think it comes pretty close to either killing us on average if it procs fifty percent of the time or like Almost certainly kills if it procs even more than that. So yeah, I was also eyeing Aromatic, because blood would heal us. Do we die if we turn into a bat, though? Because bats have less health. Soul Elixir means we don't have to worry about this guy at all. Hmm... I think Milky Potion. Panacea, no longer burning. And the other option there was a heal, which is nice of course. And then there was a third option that doesn't really help us. Okay, do we need to try and turn back into a human just to heal? No. So I think I left a frog alive on this floor. There's also two golems though. And sunlight. Hmm, this isn't gonna work. Alright, let's try and heal. We're human again. And we're hungry. That was honey. We're no longer hungry. Hungry. Let's just rest to heal. Okay. We don't want to be on this floor because it's just golems. Oh! What good is speed if the golems get to you before you get up the stairs anyways? Alright, here we go. Let's check out this room. There's a time crystal here. Some water, so I can abuse, I can slow down the spider. Do I die if I get paralyzed right now? Let's do this. We have 10 free turns. I probably don't use that on the spiders. Oh! More enemies. Was I supposed to use Antidote earlier? I have two of them. I think using it now doesn't help. Uh, baby spiders do use poison. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to use Antidote then. Oh, Antidote heals you. I think that's new. I forgot about that. I have poison resist. I'm gonna self miasma. I have four pips of poison, so I it's really unlikely that I take any damage here. Yeah, I didn't take any damage. Self miasma strats, very cool.
I'm trying to take advantage of this water, but it's not really happening the way I wanted it to. Two grimoires. Wait. How did you, you took like no damage. I took more damage from that Miasma. Oh, hell yes. Let's get a spell that Another spell that does damage, that's not Miasma. I think Shock is the natural pick here. Because that plays well to the speed and kiting. I've never built around Firestorm before though. We can still kite with Firestorm a bit. We'll just like get hit sometimes. Let's try Firestorm. I bet you it does a lot of damage. Vulnerable to fire. Firestorm and Miasma to stack DOT. All right, let's start raising our intelligence here. Check this out. Firestorm does 22 damage to Green Man. Firestorm does 17 damage to Big Sludge. Big Sludge splits. It probably shouldn't say splits and dies. Uh, medium Sludge is now affected by burning. Firestorm does... 22 damage to the Medium Sludge. So it split the Big Sludge, then hit the Medium Sludge. And killed it. What a what a move. I think that poison's about to blow up? No, okay. Oh get trapped. Oops. I don't fear poison. To try and heal up. What was that? Vulnerable to fire. Don't mind if I do. The baths. I don't think we want to be in there right now. Uh oh. We should be like, oh. The sun just went out. I needed to like 
Five to ten more turns just to kite this guy into the sun to kill them. You only have moderate resistance to poison, eh? Hmm, I probably shouldn't have poisoned myself there. It's a lot of enemies. I want that grimoire. Shock, Blink, and Tempest. I don't think we need three offensive spells. Although it is really cool to be able to have like three offensive spells that kind of have different niches and also do different elemental effects. Blink is probably a good pick here. Give us a bit of like an escape option. Tempest is really good too. But let's go with Blink. Let's give it, let's get some like mobility here. I want to stay away from that that knight. That time we didn't hurt the medium sludge. What's that about? We have bad stats. I don't think we want to be a vampire. Is this the hawker that had the spells? Yeah, give me some grimoires. Maybe we can kill a few humans. There's some XP. Dude, don't slow me like that. Okay. Baths. There was a lot going on in that that encounter there. Trying to dance around and get blood. Avoid the enemies. Pull them back and kite a bit, so like just like to manage them. That was fun. I don't you don't always get gameplay like that in a lot of roguelikes. That that was like a cool um, just like consequence of all the different systems in this game.
So there's that arcane hammer on the first floor. That upgrades your lowest item. So it would like make our sword plus two or something. I don't really know when we want to use that. I don't think going from plus one to plus two is going to make or break anything though. So it doesn't seem worth using. Like you almost want to save that till later. Yikes. Ooh, I could have just died there. I know I risked it, but that was sketchy. Okay, no sunlight down there. We have a key. I think we should open this. Antidote plus eight shield plus six steel leggings. I think we just got plus six leggings, so we're gonna sell these. A little extra money there. Um, I'm afraid of going upstairs because I think sunlight could potentially kill us right now. So I think we should turn into a human. Although probably not in sight of this vampire. Or that one. Umbra? I don't think Umbra is good on the, the Apothecary, especially if we're only getting six hit points per level. Is that still true? We're getting seven per level average right now. I mean, a little bit of Umbra is like nice. Ward was doing work last round. I wonder if we try Ward again. I feel like we want to rely on our spells to like kill things from a distance though and not really like have to take damage ideally. So Ward kind of falls off there. The teleport's always pretty good. Also, I kind of don't want to use Umbra because it's kind of cheesy at the moment. Because if I were to use Umbra right now, it would reduce our level, and then we... That means we need less kills to get to our next level again. And I think that's going to get patched out, probably. So I don't really want to abuse that. Because if I use that, it drops us level 4, so I only need to, to get the experience to go from 4 to 5, instead of 5 to 6 again. I'm just going to take the mana here. I could take Teleport. I, I like Teleport better than Blink. You know what? Just in case we want to do frog stuff later, let's take teleport. Um, swap and tempest are both interesting. Ooh. Let's take swap. I have ideas. Ideas. All right, let's heal. Can I get you into the sun? Come on. Gotta do me like that. I see a manual. Getting Firestorm really opened up this run for us, I think. Get more intelligence. We can't use more intelligence very well yet. We need to try and get our spell levels up. Oh, there's the graveyard. Plus one strength. I will not uh, turn down. Immune to poison. A 
skeleton got a double move on me when I moved back. That must have been random energy. I, I can't imagine that they're that fast. Although they do keep getting two attacks in one turn when I'm attacking them too. Maybe they're faster than I realize. Aha! Uh -huh. So that was one reason I wanted to take swap. So I can move this thing. Which isn't always easy to move. And that lets us go to the swamp later if we would like to. I think swap is also very good inside the swamp for a few reasons. But that would require us being a little stronger to take advantage of because things do a lot of damage in there. So we're going to wait. And Swamp Considerations is also why I grabbed Teleport. I was not expecting a skeleton in here. Okay, we don't want to do Mausoleum as a human. I want to do it in general, though. So I could just either wait for a Vampire Transform, which actually, we don't have any Soul Elixirs, and being stuck in Vampire form would probably be a death sentence for us. So we should try and collect potions. Are you mean to poison? Immune to poison. Of course you are. Ravenous. Let's eat. I don't like that. Damn, that hit me. I think that goes far in corridors. You did not die, huh? Oh, here we go. Come back! Ah, there's a soul elixir. And we're about to turn into a vampire. I think this is pretty good timing for us. Strength or dex will help us a lot in vamp form, but I really want to go like heavy spell casting here. Now the problem is we need more books, which th here's one. We we need we need offensive spells though. Um, disappear is a really good spell, especially when you're you have fast movement. I kind of want to hold on to swap for some 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 tricks later. A little tempted to take teleport or um dis disappear over teleport here.
Wait, no, I need teleport, don't I? This game does have teleport potions. Could rely on that later. Potentially. Hmm. Having spell slots tied to both swap and teleport. Doesn't seem great. Let's take disappear over teleport. We'll we'll figure it out. It'll work out in the end. I should turn up turn off these lights because I'm about to be a vampire. Alright, let's go kill that kill that human. I see you're a fan of the Firestorm as well. Alright, let's... I think we can explore this floor as a vampire. And then go to the mausoleum and clear that out. Soul Elixir Fountain. Hmm. But we want to be a vampire. But also, free Soul Elixir is pretty darn nice. Like, part of me is tempted to turn back into a human and do more stuff as a human and then turn back into a vampire. But one of the other considerations is I may not have food. And our human gets awfully hungry. There's a soul elixir. Let's buy a soul elixir and a grimoire here. Oh, we have float potions in this game. Let me take that. We might want that later. There's a blood potion. Or blood fountain. Plus nine leggings, good find. Laboratory. Wait out this vulnerable. I feel pretty safe fighting around this uh, time crystal, although not with sunlight there. Ooh, Sand Viper. Let's get out of here. That light kind of screwed up our plans. Why skip the fountain? I was going to greed a bit and try and pick one more fight before using it. I'm not sure if it was at the point where it would have healed me fully and then therefore like quote unquote wasted a bit. Knowing that I was going to be rushed off the floor by a sand viper, um, I should have taken the fountain. Also, was there a sunlight consideration there? I don't know if I was scared about getting sunlight if I went under. I would, have, I would have stayed around the... I would have pulled that Sand Viper to the Time Crystal if there wasn't sunlight in that room at least. Hmm. 
I don't like all that light. I'm turning on all the torches because this is a safe area for vampires, so I don't need to have darkness. So I'll improve my situation for if I come back as a human later, which will probably be the case. This is a terrifying entrance with two nobles. Plus seven sword, plus two breastplate. Sword's a big upgrade. Let's see what's on downstairs first. Because we might want to use that for gold. It's kind of cool that these levels are rotated now because I have no idea where the the boss is on this level right now. Where normally I would. Normally I'd know pretty much exactly where it was at. I think this room exists to drain your health as a vampire. It definitely costs a non-significant amount of hit points to explore all those crooks and crannies. Or nooks and crannies. Yeah, that one. Uh-oh. So these match what we have already. So this is just like gold. Gold! Love gold. Who doesn't? Well, I can get into two of these for free. We take that. That's a breastplate upgrade. That's a revolver upgrade. My leggings are capped out. Do we want to fight here yet? So with swap, I can swap Strigoi into the water, and he takes damage every turn. But he also does a lot of damage, and he also summons a ton of stuff around me. I don't think this is a very good fight for us yet. All right, we'll take that sword now. There were none downstairs. I would like to find the pharmacopia. Going up to level eight right now is a little sketchy though. It's very sketchy. We also want the library so we can level up our spells, hopefully. 
Oh, we really need to go to floor eight and nine, huh? Maybe we go downstairs as a vampire for and see, first and see if we can like buy stuff from these hawkers now that we have some gold. Does this hawker have anything left? Milky Potion, pretty good on bullets probably, 35 bullets. I could burn through 800 gold pretty fast depending on what the guys at the bottom have, so let's hold that thought. Baths? I wonder if we can handle baths. I think we need to level up some of our spells to deal with those bosses. I'm not sure if they have any weaknesses. What's cool is that Miasma and Firestorm are both AoE, which helps with that baths boss, but I don't... I think we would have to use them a lot. Yeah, I'll probably hold off on that. I'm gonna just buy all these potions. Antidote. Sure. Sure, why not? It's here, the sewers. Okay, there wasn't anything too expensive to buy. So what's our potion situation look like right now? We need some primers. We have a teleport. This is blind or demon blood. So I think this is guaranteed to be recall because I don't think you can get more than one recall potion in a game. We have multiples of the others in that stack. Hmm. All right, I have first time in the sewers. We're not gonna spend much time here though. I just wanted to get some blood and I felt like this is a place that probably had a few enemies that had blood in it. Oh, I remember these golems. You got you guys were terrifying when I saw you earlier. Menagerie is probably a good place to get some blood too. Cool. Do we need food? Should we go downstairs? We kinda do. Do I survive downstairs? I don't know. Where did you jump? Oh, there you are. Oh, that opened above and below. Uh-oh. Not the elephants. Check this out. Ooh, 
Wait, why did I slide into the water? That's not cool. Well, I'm not going to chill next to a soul monar as a vampire right now. So let's uh, read our books. Cool. Level 2 Firestorm is going to be huge. And we got a manual that gives us plus 1 strength, which we don't really need. Okay, so there's a wolf right here. Okay, we should be able to melee you if you're in the water and cold. There is a little dangerous feeling. Can I heal here? Okay. There's a polar bear. Is it, Are things here weak to fire? That would be nice. No, you're just resistant to ice. Ooh. We got pixies here? This is a dangerous area. I forgot some of the stuff that's in here. You're vulnerable to electric. Immune to fire? How is the ice fairy immune to fire? And why does water heal them? Can they even get wet? What is that about? Shoot. God dang it. I wanted my asthma you. That didn't do anything. Hmm. Our spells are weak right now. We really need to level them up. Miasma 1 is not doing anything against like the mid-level enemies. Oh, I'm slowed. This is bad. I could die here really easily. Teleport potion is not likely to put me in a good position either. How do I not die here? Hey, a full health one. Bat potion. I don't know. Here we go. I was looking for an opportunity to use disappear on the last one. That didn't happen. Okay. Vulnerable to fire. We should be able to deal with this Yeti. Oh, you have a range attack? Stop that. Oh, why'd I do that? Oh my god. Stop it. I should leave, right? We don't have a good answer for those fairies.
Oops. I did not mean to go in the water. Oh! <laughs> Yo, an elephant falling down a chasm. That's gonna make a crash. Okay, we need to get to floors 8 and 9, which are going to be super dangerous. But the branches there will be huge power spikes for us. Oh, we didn't even really do floor seven yet. You have moderate poison res. Okay. Yeah, Firestorm 2 is pretty nice. Actually, how much damage did that do? Thirty-seven and thirty-three. Yeah, that feels a lot better than what we were doing before. All right, so this was the ale. Drink a couple of those. I actually feel way more comfortable with level 2 Firestorm right now. More food, good. What was cloudy again? Blizzard lag and de uh yeah, deceleration. Is this a full clear? Now it is. All right, uh, we still have a few minutes of evening. Let's jump to the left real quick. Okay, it's gone. Right when the noble arrives, of course. Okay. Firestorm handles nobles not too badly. That's going to be our biggest threat right here, so that's good. Our failure on that only one percent because I've been cranking intelligence. It's still extra low level. Ooh, plus nine sword. Try out that sword. Nice. Give me more intelligence. Wait, the only way through this level is through this choke point. All the, okay, these are all the, only the upstairs actually. So I could probably find another staircase. I don't want to deal with that soul minar, but I think I'm also going to try and chill as a vampire for a bit. Oh, 
Or maybe there's just Solminars everywhere. My health is too low now to really... Yeah, this is dangerous. I was gonna try and explore a bit as a human, but or as a vampire. There's a master key, so that opens the chest that's on the other floor, but I also wanna hold a master key for the swamp, perhaps. Um, I'm gonna buy this grimoire. Level three firestorm. All right, we're gonna be doing some damage now. Now, all the intelligence we've been taking that's been making our life difficult in combat is gonna start paying off a bit. Wait, I can't cast it. <laughs> Shoot. I don't have enough mana for this. Okay. I was going to be like, yeah, let's go ahead and firestorm all the things. And now I'm vulnerable. Well, I hope we don't die. Was this a noble? I think it was. That's a chasm. Do we take increased fall damage when we're vulnerable? Probably. I have 11 turns of invisible. We can just run away with that. Ah! Oh my god. Thank you for not attacking. Vulnerable versus Ice Golem. Could have been nasty. Okay. Where does that leave us? Let me get unfamished. I think we can still deal with floor eight and that we want to. That situation was just difficult there. I got a little cocky with my level three firestorm without realizing that I couldn't really cast it that much. Here we go. Let's get that sunlight. Let's kill all these vampires. And the golem. So good. That felt great. Don't bone me when I'm standing in sunlight. Oops, I did not mean to double move there. All right. Well, that is taken care of. Pharmacopia. I think we don't have to do the pharmacopia right now. Did we check out this hawker? We did. We'll come back as a vampire. I think I'd like to wait till I'm a vampire to do pharmacopia. Let's see if we can find the library while we're still human.
Wow. Way to go, plus nine sword. The heck is a goblin doing on this floor? Flux fountain? Aberration. Causes each attack to be duplicated and have random damage types. I probably should have kited something to that. Oh, let's use it against... Wait, do I really fight the Balor like this? Hell yeah, I do. 40 poison damage? Are you weak to poison? You are. That means I can miasma you. That was a good roll on Aberration then. Lose this knight. Actually. Where'd you go? Just borrow the sun golem for a moment. Nice. I don't know if I survive you. Let me go and viz and see if I can kind of juke around from you for a minute. I think the Sand Vipers actually aren't that bad because of my poison resistance. It's a lot of stuff. Go and do the pharmacopia real quick. Ooh. I think there's a Solmanar in the way, so we probably don't. I probably just turn back into a human here soon. Let's not fight this guy. My Firestorm build is not going to do very good against a Magma Golem, so we will run away from that thing. Nice. I feel like it's rare that these actually connect to rooms. They, oddly enough, are most often dead ends. Where did you come from? And why are you putting lava on the one tile of corridors, my dude?
So if I have to escape this gallery, I need to remember there's a magma golem right on the exit. A ruby golem stands between me and knowledge. I want these books. Oh, Firestorm's still good. Give me that intelligence. Okay. Let's level up Miasma. So we get something else that's a little stronger to deal with. Things that are immune to fire, which is a problem for us right now. Um, I'd like to discern these. I'd like to discern these. I'm gonna go for this because blinding is very relevant versus the Gorgon Queen. Okay, it was not blinding. Demon Blood's also very nice to have for next time we're in vamp form. Okay, I don't want to fight this golem in front of the artificer. Don't look. Oh. Get wrecked. Uh-oh. Dude, so much strength. I don't need strength, I need smarts. Alright, how about... Let's figure out the Cloudy Potion, because Deceleration and Lizard Leg are both very good. Alright, can we level up some spells? I'll take more Disappear. Level 4 Firestorm. Let's get it. Now, I just made our main source of damage and survivability very prone to failure. But if we can level up... If we can level up, just think of how good it'll be. One Float Potion. Or, if this is an intelligence book... Hell yeah! You feel more clever. Down to 13%. That feels a lot better. Um, I guess I'll upgrade swap? Question mark? Feels weird, but shorter duration on unstable. Why not? I'm not too sure how to feel about swap still, but... Vulnerable to fire, you say? Wow! 126 damage. That was a lot of damage. Oh, jeez. You scared me. Had I deal with you before? Was it fire? I think it was.
Uh, I guess we've got level three swap. Uh, it looks like there's one room we did not full clear. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it was empty. Well, we pretty much full explored. We could start picking out box uh, bosses. We need to explore Pharmacopia, which will be good for us. Um, where do we want to start? I don't think we can deal with the princess right now. I'll probably leave her be. I bet she would beat her with Lizard Leg, actually. But I don't think we really need to try and fight her right away. Lizard Leg and what is this? Deaf and Fast. I bet we beat her with Lizard Leg plus this. Maybe even just that? 17 Strength times Vampire and Speed. We go for it. Mm, we can wait. I think we can, but there's no reason to force it here. I probably would have gone for it right there if there weren't so many other people around. I think we can definitely take on the Gorgon Queen though. Let's give this a try. A book? I want the book. Wow. All ours only have 75 health, huh? Or less than that? For some reason I thought they had more. Getting hungry again. Eat that. More books. I want the books. Should we go fight her before turn to a vampire? Possible? No. We should probably go and try and do the Pharmacopia if we're going to be stuck in vampire form for now. Damn, you were not kidding. That could be dangerous. I think this works. We have Solmanars down here. Oh shit, we definitely do. It looks like you're out of mana, though. Am I going to make that mistake twice in a row? I think they may have had enough mana at the end there. That's why I tried to focus them down. It was a tough fight, but I don't have a lot of um, potions, soul elixirs. I didn't want to change back for that if I could help it. it Might have been like the correct move to do so. There's a soul elixir. Yeah, I'm hoping I find a lot of soul elixirs here. Flying wizards. Flying monkeys. It's like Wizard of Oz.
Bet you we do all right in Pharmacopia level two. Heck yeah, another soul elixir. Are we a vampiric polar bear? So this branch um, is led by like a master of delusion as the boss. So the entire time you're in here, you're it's basically the equivalent of NetHack hallucination. So us and everything we can see, or like every monster that's in here has like a randomized appearance. But yes, we are a polar bear right now. sounds very annoying it's pretty cool you can tell what most of the stuff is based on different cues either movement wise or like some of them buff up some of them like emit light all right what do we want to do now i feel like we can take on the boss here i don't know if that's greedy or not i think we should try i have four soul elixirs so coming here was a success Oh, that's not the staircase. Whoops. I think Firestorm in particular is going to be good against the boss. What is this? Poison, bleeding. Sand Viper? I think that was a Sand Viper. Wait. This is incredible. This is incredible. Spiritus. So this is the randomized hallucination delusion appearance of this. Spiritus, a fairy adept at illusionary magic. It attacks with psychic damage, which is mitigated by intelligence instead of defense, and can cause the vulnerable status. Looks innocuous? That's interesting. So that's what the boss of this branch looks like. But the boss never actually looks like that. Except, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this is actually the boss. Which is hilarious. Oh my god! That's a lot of damage. Let's try that again. Reset. I don't like this vulnerable stuff. There we go. So we slayed the boss and now it... The... the the delusion curse of this branch is lifted. We can actually see what everything is now. That thing did so much damage to us that turn. The miscast wrecked us. I wonder if that's because we were vulnerable. I don't know how much damage, like what damage type miscasts are. That did, that did more damage than anything else. So between the miscast and then it got two attacks on us, we took 63 damage in one turn. Brutal. Brutal. Okay. But now we can... S well, we can't safely explore. But the boss is the most certain thing in here, and it's dead now. Those guys are like... Kamikaze enemies. And if you don't know what they are, like, they just blow up when you get close to them. They're very devious. Pick up the honey. Alright. 
Cool, we got lots of soul elixir in there, and a little bit of food, which is the main things I wanted. Let's find out what these are. That was blink. So this has got to be combustion. Wait, I can combust Vlad. The Strigoi. Is that too cheesy? Is it? Do we want to partake in that? I don't really care. I'll partake in it. Um, let's go deal with the gallery, though. Now that we're human again. Although we are not human for long. What's below us? Lab? I don't want to do lab yet. No way, no how. Let's partake. We will. Don't worry, we will. I was going to try to use swap to do the same thing anyways. So... I think we're fine with it. These guys are going to be annoying. Can I get rid of these guys somehow? What are your vulnerabilities? Glass, water, and ice. Is there any water anywhere? Oh, this isn't good. Let me get out of here. Make me burn. Oh my god, I can't get... <sighs> The only way into the branch is there's lava on all the entrances now. Come on, dude, don't heal. I just want to kill you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wanted to go there as a human. I'm a freaking vampire now. <laughs> God dang it. Um. Shoot. Okay, this guy didn't shoot me for some reason. I'm gonna kill them while he's slowed. From the water. All right, now let's partake. Shall we? Partake in the cheese. Combustion. Oh my god. We actually had multiple maelstroms. Okay, I guess we're doing this. I guess we're doing this. The game called an audible. I didn't know more of these existed, so I could just keep coming back here if I wanted. That's actually a decent escape item. I wonder if Maelstrom is immune to instability effects. Alright, so if we drink Demon Blood, which is Demon Bleeds, we get um, abilities when vamp form, demon abilities. So we just got Dash. You can dash up to four tiles in a direction, automatically hitting the first enemy in your path. For each dial ta tile dashed, you deal 33% more damage.
two electric damage? Why so little? More soul elixir, very nice. Pharmacopia, should we leave? Yeah, let's leave, because I don't know how much more bleeding enemies are here. I'm at half health. It would kind of suck if we had to fight um, those prismatic sphere thingies. Alright. Oh, uh, let's... Oh my god. Can I avoid that? glowing now. All right, let's buy stuff. I don't have health. How much can I survive in vampire form right now? Hmm. I need to heal somehow. Probably means we want to turn into a human, which means maybe we come back. The timing of all this is getting ridiculous. All right, so now let's go back to the gallery. Gotta be a closer upstairs. Oh my god, that lava hurts. 59 damage plus burning. Woof. All right. Oh. That's a thing. I think we got her. Nice. Let's use them bullets. We have had over 50 of them. 20% extra spell damage. This is pretty nice for us. And more MP. Although I kind of want fire resistance after not seeing how much damage that lava does. Yeesh. Um, wow, I have like no food either. 
I wonder if this is curry noodle. We probably need to go back to the ice house. Should we try and fight the princess real quick? I think we beat her with the quick potion. Lots of buff potions. I kind of want to save the lizard leg. And beyond that, I mean, my only buff potions are... Quick. I mean, that's it. I have Nostrum for healing, though, and Demon Blood for healing. I can take the Princess one-on-one -on -one for sure. It's all these other guys, which concerns me. Although, maybe I can use this to my advantage. So I think I can make her waste her spell points. Well, let's do this. I could actually swap her to isolate her. Maybe that's a smart move. Actually, can I... Let's do this. No. Get over here. Okay. I think... Disappear gives us defense. We're at 14 and 17. 14, 21. So we'll cast that. And then I'm assuming this is blood. Yikes. That was tough. This guy's not very good at defense. Oh, I forgot to drink the speed potion. That was the main thing I wanted to use. Okay. Well, we did it anyways. We were never going to use five speed potions, but... <laughs> Can't believe I forgot to use that. We got the ring. We have electric resistance. Oh, shoot. I forgot I'm a vampire and nothing here likes me. Shouldn't be just running around like, like everything's cool. to next. How many rings do I have? I have three rings. We only need four to beat the game. And I don't think I, I want to keep doing a bunch of like full runs because I want to... We have four achievements to get still. And this is only one of them. But...
We we want to do the sewers, so let's go there. And we can do Vlad pretty easy. And then maybe we go and try to do the swamp. Sounds like a plan to me. Was this a frog? Oh. I say, was that a frog up here? Yes, it was. This is like the third or fourth time we've tried this. I think it's like the third. All right. Combust. He's drowning. <laughs> All right. Hope this doesn't kill me. Okay. More poison resist and poison damage on our attacks. We have lots of poison resist now. My resistance is shuffled. Hey, what up, Drake? 18 months, hell yeah, year and a half. Like Blast used to be on this side. What's up with that? I don't think I've ever seen those in a different order. But maybe I just never have remembered. It's such a minute detail. Alright, we have enough rings to win the game. But, let's do sewers, because that's one of the achievements, and I've never seen it before. Except when we just, like, stuck our toes in there earlier. How's this run going? Pretty good so far. Just got our fourth ring. A very rough start. Apothecary is pretty much like a challenge run. We're about to check out the new branch. Whoops, that's not it. I think I need to be a human for this. Oh, I should have... Okay, you don't have anything for sale anyways. Oh! Sorry, Hawker. Think I care about poison? Think again. I'm one step removed from being immune to poison. So this is the swap for Grotto. I haven't seen anything more threatening than a crocodile yet. The fact that all the enemies just like to go in the water um, makes this a lot safer too. Which is like a lot more water that you can like maneuver between than in Grotto, I feel like. It's a little easier to like pull off stunts like that. It might be darker. I don't know what this looks like during the day if there's any light in here. Oh. I think that's the boss. I don't know why I didn't do anything. But that looked like the picture on the achievement photo.
A rat breaks loose from the Rat King. There's the river. I got a, a lantern? Wait, where'd the Rat King go? Do we kill it? Hey Chet, the sewers is a new branch that got added last month. And uh... It's a swap for the grotto. No DLC. All these amazing, huge content updates that would look like a DLC for some games are are free. Thanks to the benevolent developer. Oh, we did get the achievement? That's what I was looking for. I didn't even see it pop up. I was waiting for it. I missed it somehow. Okay. I think this area is less dangerous than the sewers, um, or the grotto. One big difference, though, is that this thing's full of sludges, whereas everything in the grotto bleeds, so it's not as good um, for vampires at all. But overall, I think it's easier. I don't know how the Rat King fight normally goes, or if you can, like, if you stumble into that early, that might be nasty. Rat King doesn't move. Yeah, sewers is a low, or grotto is a low level area as well. But just comparing the two, I think the sewers is a bit easier. Although I like to go to grotto for blood as a vampire. And sewers doesn't look as good for that because you'll lo probably lose about as much health as you gain. Fighting the sludges. I think we should do baths real quick while we're here. Panacea Fountain. Honey. Give me the honey. Can you imagine a fountain full of honey? That's pretty epic, actually. Aether. Oh, dang. All right, Miasma too, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, ice resist and 20 hit points. Any other cool fountains here? Blood. Nope, that seems to be it. Are the Rusalka susceptible to poison in particular? No, but. It's a boss that's four of them, so I think to be balanced, they don't have, like, a huge health pool, because you have to deal damage to four of them. And Miasma is a... the splash damage. So they're particularly vulnerable to AoE in part or particular, or susceptible. And yeah, even though our Miasma is only level two, I have 19 intelligence now, so it's probably acting like maybe like a level three Miasma would be. Okay, where were we going to go? I think we're going up to the swamp. 
Probably easier to get here by going down the stairs again. Don't think we want to be a vampire. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. This is going to be great. This is going to be the cleanest frog win you'll have ever seen. I had a good way to heal. This is fine though. Wait, you jumped over there? You allowed to do that? I might need some time for this. I'm going to pop D-Cell. I have 300 turns of float. And we swap. Oh, there's one lily pad there. I need to do this now. Wait. I'm unstable. Um, I'm gonna take some acid damage getting to the frog. Can I kill you early? There we go. Let's heal up. Wait, how do we deal with the brain? You can probably firestorm the hell out of it, right? Okay. What is this? Curry noodle. Miasma? Maybe. We use miasma from outside of its... That's probably pretty strong. Yeah, I don't know what its resists look like. Yeah, Miasma's probably pretty strong there, too. <laughs> What's a <the> problem? <laughs> I still have my lizard leg. Um, it, it can sort of force vamp you. Can I swap with the brain? I wonder. Um. 
All right, I'm gonna drink a quick potion and then we'll tell it to the brain. And can I bat out of here in time? No. This is awkward. What are your stats? Okay, you just attack with Psychic. Oh. Interesting that the blood doesn't turn you into a vamp when you're in bat form. Oh, we're already a vamp. Good point. We just stay a bat because we're in bat form. That makes more sense. Now, do I want to try and fight it as a vampire? Or be a human first? Hey, Acid Grind, this is the Apothecary Disguise. Oh, Dash, good call. Dash is actually really strong here. Maybe we can just survive doing this with Dash. That's a really good call. Ooh, god, vulnerable and acid? You are supposed to whirlwind me. That's cool, I don't even call them disguise that much because I don't think a lot of people think of them in that way. They're generally like considered to be just like classes. How many tiles does this go? Four tiles. One, two, three, four. So I need to be here to hit you. Let's turn into a human. Firestorm you. Dang, you got a lot of health. You got a lot of health, dude. Oh, I should have used another quick potion at some point. There we are, and do I just die here? I have mil I have recall, so I can get out. I was actually afraid of this. I took double damage there from acid. Not cool. So you kind of want another, yeah, vulnerable is not good either. You kind of want another uh, teleport for this. I guess we'll recall. And Nostrum heals you, but grants you vulnerable, but we're already vulnerable. So I'm going to do that. So now we got healed and only 14 turns of vulnerable. I think being, <laughs> I think being a frog in um, the Maelstrom is going to be miserable though. We'll see how it goes. You've been playing the new Rogue Fable 3 update. Reminds you of this and it's simple yet difficult gameplay. Yeah, I've been wanting to check that out. I saw there was another update recently. Yeah, it's gonna suck to exit for sure. Damn, look how far I'm jumping.
No, I want to go to the exit. Don't force me to attack the noble. Dude, our physical stats kind of suck. 12 strength and 12 dex. Oh! <laughs> Get into it. Dang. It, it, it looks like we did get the plus speed still. I wonder if you kill it as a vampire if you get to keep your strength bonus. Or if I use blood. <laughs> did you see that? It filled up my bar and then depleted it. It had my intelligence. Does frog form have half intelligence? To start, or does it have to do with the blood? Oh, this is not a good position to be in. There we go. Damn. Do you think we ever get out of here? Maybe this is our life, being a frog in Maelstrom. I don't think we want to go to Underworld. Although it might be technically easier to escape. Yeah, frog in, in limbo. This is your punishment for screwing with the forces of nature like this. You shouldn't be a frog. Why does it show me down here as well? Is that a consequence of how the map updates? Oh, there... Get it? Hang. You can... Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them. So it doesn't erase your icon when it teleports you. I think. And then you have to see that part of the map to update it and erase it. Oh, it's happening when I'm hopping? And it's because of... Oh, yes! Can you fall down this chasm? I want to get that hammer. What happens if we fall? Try it. Oh. Cool. I like that. I guess it takes you to the grotto. Um, if you have grotto instead of sewers. I don't think we're going to be able to get that hammer. Hey! You improve your breastplate to plus two. We, our items, our equipment took a beating from all that acid. All right. Let's go. Let's go finish this. Frog. Please. Oh, I was on the stairs and I. I jumped off of them by accident. <laughs> you really wanted to play some music. I respect it. Musical frog. Does it only show the prompt if the tile you jump on for that direction is a pit? Yep. 
So even though you don't know where you land, that gives you a bit of a tip. And I think that's a huge quality of life um, feature. For all the frog mains out there, yeah. Get wrecked. Sorcerer. I'm a frog. Hey, we got achievement. That was fun. Oh, these are normal frogs. These aren't the king. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Stuff.